so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey everyone, it's me, Blippi, and I'm with my best friend, Mika! Hi everyone, we're at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California! Yeah! And it's actually nighttime, and this place is closed! Yeah, so we got special permission to be here at night! <laughs> yeah! That gives me a great idea. Right. Let's have Night at the Aquarium! Yeah, let's go! Come on! Hi, Bobby, Mika, have fun! See ya! Whoa! 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 What is that? Check it out! It looks like a spider crab. Yeah, it looks like a giant red spider, but it's a crab! Yeah! And check it out, Mika. Looks like it has some claws. Yeah, oh. pictures. <laughs> it also looks like it's looking right at you, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, my name's Blippi. Hi. What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't have a name. <laughs> have you ever seen a crab walk on the ocean floor? Yeah, they walk sideways. Yeah. Will you act like crabs with us? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! I like being a crab. Ooh, me too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow! Check it out! So pretty! Yeah, do you know what they are? Those are sea stars! Yeah! And look, they're the shape of a star! Yeah! That makes sense. <laughs> Shall we count how many points it has? Yeah, let's do it! One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Looks like they're just stuck to the rock like this. Yeah. <laughs> they seem to really like it. They're all hugging this rock. I like acting like a sea star. <laughs> <laughs> just like it, <laughs> That's silly. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Big tank! Wow, you're right! <gasps> so much water in here! Whoa! Whoa, check it out, Mika! Fish! Wow! They're all swimming together! Yeah! Here they go! These are yellow tails! <laughs> Hello! If you look really close, you see that their tails are yellow! Yeah! Whoa, there's so many of them! Wow, I think they like us! They yeah. keep coming over! <laughs> Do you know what a big group of fish is called? Yeah, a school. Cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Mika, look it? way over here. Come on. Do you see what it is? <gasps> oh my goodness. A really cute sea otter. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Wow. Sea otters are so cool. Whoa. They're in the water! Hey! They can swim in the water and be on land! Yeah! And their fur is really, really dense! Yeah! Oh, look! They're snuggling! Oh, and they're so cute! Hey! I wonder if they're best friends! Like us! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Their hair is so dense. Actually, it's fur. Yeah! yeah. There's about a million pieces of hair and about that big of size. That's super duper furry. Yeah, <laughs> that's equal to about all the hair on an average sized dog. Wow, that's a lot of fur. Yeah, whoa. They like to dive down and find their food, things like shellfish, crab. Clams, yeah. sea urchins. Yep, and they'll bring it up out of the water onto a rock and hang out and eat their food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how their front hands kind of look like hands, but their back feet, yeah, they're actually kind of flippers. Yeah. <laughs> so then they swim with their back flipper feet. Yep, <laughs> it's like flippers in the back and paws in the front. Yeah, check them out. Wow. Well, there it goes. Whoa! Wow. Check it out! They're so tiny! Yeah, teeny tiny jellyfish! Yeah! Wow! Look at them go! They're just swimming like this! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Yeah! <laughs> I've never seen them this 
small before. I know, they're so small. <laughs> oh, and look over here, Mika. Whoa. Whoa, these are a little bit bigger. Yeah, we can call these medium-sized <laughs> jellyfish. That's right. Wow, look at their long tentacles. Whoa. Oh, hello. Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> Whoa, Mika, look. Big jellyfish! Yeah! Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Jellyfish are so cool! They don't have hearts, they don't have brains, but they need to eat food to survive! Yeah! They're living creatures! That's right! Wow! That is so cool! And if you ever see a jellyfish, you want to make sure not to touch it because they sting! Yeah! Wow! Oh, hello! <laughs> and do you see the brown tentacles? Looks like hair. Yeah, that hair tentacle looking type of things, that's what actually stings you if you touch it. Good thing this is glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, see you later, jellyfish! Wow, pretty. <laughs> so we saw small jellyfish, mm -hmm. medium-sized jellyfish, and big jellyfish! Yeah! <laughs> oh, look over here! Oh, come on! Whoa! Hello! I'm Blippi! I'm Mika! <laughs> and this is a puffin! Wow! Oh. Hi, buddy! Look at him just floating on top of the water! Yeah! Oh, see you later! <laughs> Puffins are super cool because they can dive down into the water and catch a lot of fish! Yeah! Ten fish is pretty normal for them to catch in one dive! Yeah! yeah. And do you see those rocks up there? Yeah! That's where they live. Yep, see? All the way up top, they're just hanging out together on the rocks. <laughs> yeah, if there's a cliff next to water, you might find some puffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, puffin! Hey! Whoa, their beaks look so cool. Yeah! Whoa, check it out! So colorful in there. Yeah, it's a coral reef. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see all those fish? They're so colorful. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah, ooh, look at wow. that one right there. It's just yellow. Yeah. So yellow, it looks like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, Flippy, I bet you'd like that one over there because it's orange. One of your favorite colors. Oh, yeah, you're right. And there's white stripes on it and black. That one looks really cool. Yeah. Ooh, and that one right there, yeah, it has a blue body and a yellow tail. Oh, cool. Whoa. Ooh, you see any other colorful ones, Mika? Hmm. Oh, I see a black and white one coming this way. Oh, yeah, black and white stripes. Yeah, almost like a zebra. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Ah. Ooh, and look at that one right there. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, a blue body with some black and a yellow tail. Wow. There are so many colors in here. Yeah, so colorful. <laughs> Look at this. These are some of the teeniest, tiniest frogs I have ever seen. These are poisonous dark frogs and can typically be found in the rainforest. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's like a red orange. Poisonous dart frogs come in so many different sorts of colors, and their bright colors tell animals and people to stay away because they're really poisonous, but they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I think there's some more over here. Come on. Wow. These have white stripes down their back. They look so cool. They're poisonous because of the poison in the food that they eat. <laughs> you have to stay away. But wow, they're just really adorable and fabulous. <laughs> Mika, look. <laughs> Check it out. More frogs. Whoa. These are magnificent tree frogs. Whoa. It's the color green. Yeah. That's called camouflage. It blends in with its environment. 
Yeah, do you know what is green in here? Yeah, leaves! Whoa! So then other animals can't see those frogs! So cool! <laughs> Ooh, and look down here! These are Mexican salamanders. Yeah, also known as oxalotls. What a silly name! Whoa! Hello! Yeah! They're typically darkish, greenish, brownish in the nature. Yeah! So then they blend in to their environment, just like those frogs. Yeah! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Yeah, it's an octopus. Can you see it? Yeah! Whoa! Octopuses have eight arms! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> we, together, have four. One, two, three, four! Whoa! Times that by two, and then you have eight. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine having eight arms? Whoa, that'd be so cool! Yeah, and octopuses have little suction cups on their arms so that they can taste wherever they go. Yeah, and it sticks to things. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> and octopuses can actually change color and texture. That's called camouflage. Yeah, and they're also really, really smart. <laughs> yeah, and did you know octopuses, their mouths are actually beaks. <laughs> 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 Oh, it looks really white now. Wow. Kind of hard to see back there. Yeah, it's oh, changing it's colors. Oh, hello, octopus. Hi. Whoa, take a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Bunch of sharks! Yeah. Wow! But I actually heard that we can get in! What? Yeah! That's so cool! Shall we? Yeah! Okay! Whoa! You need to be very careful to not step on any of these sharks! Excuse us! Excuse us! Ooh. Ooh, it's a little cold and chilly! Yeah. Whoa! Wow! Yeah, these are shark jaws. Yeah. And look at all the teeth. There's so many teeth. Whoa, yeah. hello. For shark. Yeah. Whoa. Are they shark? Whoa, yeah, they are. Look at this really big one. Whoa, Mika, cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. And this shark jaw. Yeah, the teeth are really small. This jaw is actually the same type of sharks in here. Yeah. So cute. Much smaller <laughs> than something like this. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Bet you can't guess what shark this comes from, Mika. Ah. Uh, it's one tooth. And it comes from a shark that's really big. It's a really great shark. Oh, the great white shark, Flippy? Yeah. Whoa, look how big that tooth Whoa. is. Hello! No. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so silly. Wow. Yeah. So, Mika, we can actually touch these sharks. Whoa. Yeah. I wonder what they feel like. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, hello, shark. Hello. Hello. Come here. Are you ready to get pet? Ooh, these are a little shy. Oh, here's oh. one. Here one comes. Mama. Oh, yeah. I did. What did it you feel like? It actually felt a little rough. Yeah, the skin of these sharks feel like sandpaper. Oh, it's so rough. Whoa. Oh, here's one. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, Mika. Here you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it is rough. Not <laughs> smooth at all. Nope. <laughs> hey, come check out over here. What's over here? Yeah. Whoa. Get out nice and safe. Hey. Then. Go right over here. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Whoa. A rays. bunch of rays. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at them. Whoa. Hey, Ray, how are you? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> 
Shall we get in? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. Whoa. 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 So in here you want to shuffle your feet so then you don't step on any of the rays. Yeah, good idea. Ooh. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Look right over there, Mika. Is this food for the rays? It is. Wow. Special surprise. It's a vegan. Yeah. Ooh, and is there another one? Yep, this is oh. for you. Oh, thank you so much. And this is for me. All right. So how we feed them is we just toss it out. Look at this. Ooh, <laughs> some fish in here. Yeah. Anybody hungry? Looks like some shrimp. Ooh, check it out. Wow. Want some food? Looks pretty yummy if you were a ray, huh? <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Perfect. Yum. <laughs> Whoa. Your next time snack. Yeah, here you go, rays. Ooh. Actually, we can touch them too. Really? What yeah. does it feel like? Oh, you want to kill me? I'm gonna do two fingers along their back. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, hey, Ray. Whoop. Oh, here's one. Hello. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. Oh, it's like he gave me a high five. Cool. It actually kind of feels like a here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> yep, I felt that one. Yeah, different than the sharks that were really rough. Yeah, these are really smooth and oh slippery. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so silly. Whoa. Wow, now they really want to eat. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And they flap their wings. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, what a great night at the aquarium. Yeah, we saw so many cool animals. Yeah, like those adorable sea otters. <laughs> and those jellyfish. <laughs> and the octopus. Whoa, with eight arms. Yeah. Wow, and those crabs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, so many <laughs> underwater creatures. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. N-E-E-A-H. Mika. Mika. <laughs> so cool. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great night, Blippi and Mika. Thank you. See, See ya. ya. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa. And look at where we're at. Yeah, today we're at Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho. And this place is awesome. Yeah, it's an aquarium. Have you ever been to an aquarium before? Yeah, it's so cool because they have so many marine animals here. Yeah, marine animals are animals that live in the water. Well, shall we go explore? Let's go. Whoa. Oh, there's so many different kinds of fish in here. Whoa, they're all back there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, look up here. Looks like a list of different types of fish. Oh, look at that one. That one's called a yellow tang. Yeah, and it's all yellow. <laughs> I wonder why it's called yellow tang. <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one. It says purple tang. Ooh, looks like it's purple and yellow. Whoa. Ooh. And that one way over there. Whoa, powder blue tang. Wow. Yeah, it's blue and yellow. Okay, let's try and find them. Um, let's find the yellow tang. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty distinct looking, huh? All yellow. Okay, not that one. <gasps> Wait, there's one way over there. Do you see it? It's so far back there. Oh, <laughs> it's hiding. Hello, yellow tang. <laughs> Look up there. Yeah, 
An orange, white, and black fish. Oh, I know what that is. Look up here. Yeah, that's the fish. It's a clownfish. Look up there. Do you see that blue fish? Yeah, it's just pure blue. It's really bright and vibrant. And look up here. Whoa, it's a blue damselfish. It's so bright and blue and colorful. Cool. See you later, fish. <laughs> Whoa, more fish. <laughs> Whoa, look at this in here. Wait a second. This looks like the same shape as the last clownfish, but this one is just black and white. Yeah, do you see it right there? Yeah, a black and white striped fish. Here comes another one. Wait, yeah, this is actually a type of clownfish. Yeah, but can you think of an animal that lives on land that's black and white stripes? Yeah. A zebra! Wow, cool! These are the zebras of the ocean! <laughs> see you later, clownfish! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah! That looked like a puffer fish to me! Whoa! Actually, it's a porcupine puffer! Yeah! Looks really smooth right now, but if it gets frightened or scared or angry, what it does is its cheeks puff out! And its whole body, yeah, becomes spiky. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Super cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, do you see this? Wow, looks like an eel. Yeah, this is actually a yellowhead moray eel. And it's just hanging out in the rocks. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, that's what eels like to do. Hang out in the rocks and just poke their heads out. <laughs> All right, see you later. Fun hanging out with you. <laughs> oh, what else do they have here? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like an old boat that then water got into and rocks over the years. Whoa, it's a perfect fish habitat. Oh, and look at what I have. <laughs> yeah, some snacks for the fish. Yeah, just like how you and I like snacks. Yeah, fish like snacks too. Whoa, and they said I can actually feed these fish. All right, first, let's try these peas. There we go. <laughs> All right, pour it in my hand. And then we'll see if the fish like to come and eat some food. Here you go. Whoa, do you see all those fish? Yeah, those are Japanese koi fish. There's so many of them and they're so colorful. All right, we have a little bit more food over here. All right, hello, Japanese koi fish. Yeah. All right, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, they're so cool looking. They're so colorful. Yeah, some are orange and black, some are white and black, and some are white, black, and orange. Oh, see you later. <laughs> All right, what else is around here? Whoa, look at this tank. This tank is massive. Looks like the fish are all on the other side. Oh, but there's a lot of gallons and liters of water in here. Oh, oh, and look at this. Whoa, looks like a scuba diver. Whoa, do you see this helmet? It looks like a port right here. Yeah, scuba divers have this area so then they can see while they're underwater. Ooh, and scuba divers wear this outfit so then they can stay warm under the water and so they can breathe underwater. You know how you and I have to hold our breath underwater? Scuba divers can breathe while they're underwater. Cool. Ooh, and do you see this big weight? Yeah, us humans, we tend to float. So this weight is holding the scuba diver on the bottom of the sea floor. So then this scuba diver can work. Yeah, looks like the scuba diver works underwater. Wow! Whoa, look at all these tanks! Whoa, this is so cool! Whoa, and look at this one! It's really big and bright and vibrant. Yeah! Do you see that? Yeah, that orange thing? That is actually a sea anemone. Whoa, and do you see those rock-looking things up there? Yeah, they're also pretty bright. Those are coral. Yeah, sea anemones 
and coral. Yeah, they're actually animals. They kind of just look like rocks, huh? Those coral do? <laughs> well, hey, do you see how bright they are and just vibrant in color? Yeah, it's actually because there's algae that lives inside the sea anemone. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Whoa, oh look. You see how that fish is just hanging out with that sea anemone and right next to all that coral? Yeah, coral is actually really, really important because a bunch of fish like these ones actually live in all the coral. Yeah, it's just like how you and I live in a house. Yeah, these fish love to live inside the coral. Whoa, and around the coral and use sea anemones as a nice soft bed. <laughs> so cozy. Whoa, Ooh, and look at this one. Oh, it's really bright and green. Whoa, so cool. Hey, remember how we saw that eel hanging out in the rock and the coral? Yeah, they're just hanging out in their homes. <laughs> See you later, enjoy your homes. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, this is a big tank. Whoa, do you see that fish way over there? Whoa, yeah, there's a fish way back there. It's so big. It's a bumblebee grouper. Yeah, and actually they live to be 80 to 100 years old. But this one's only about 10 years old. So it's gonna get way bigger. Whoa, whoa, these are some big fish in here. Whoa, look at these. Hello, hey, and look at the bottom. Whoa, do you see all those? Yeah, they definitely look like sharks, huh? <laughs> look at them just hanging out out the bottom. Whoa, whoa, look at these fish. More big fish. Yeah, these are Paku. Yeah, Pakus, to be exact, because there's many of them. Whoa, and they kind of look like really big piranhas. Yeah, and actually, they eat vegetables. They're herbivores. Yeah, you see how big they are? Whoa, and actually, let me show you something right up here. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the teeth. Do you see this? Yeah, they kind of look like human teeth that they have, huh? Whoa! Now I have a big treat for us. Yeah, these pakus, I bet, are very hungry, and we have a nice yummy snack for them. Yeah, these are almonds. Watch out, they might splash. Whoa! Look at them go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I'm throwing them down so then they hear and see them splash. There we go. Yeah, it's like they're falling off of trees. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, they must be really hungry. Let me do a few at the same time. Whoa, whoa, don't worry everyone. There's more for everyone. Here you go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> whoa. All right, here's some more. <laughs> wow, aren't they cool? They must be very, very hungry. Whoa, cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't this so much fun learning about marine animals together? Yeah, I had a great time learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video though. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa. Today, we are at the Florida Aquarium, and this is going to be so much fun. Let's go. Whoa. This area, you can actually touch stingrays with two fingers, okay? Come on. I didn't quite get him. Oh, here he is. I touched him. And he's really soft. And it kind of has a little 
mucus type of feel, really slippery. Oh, look at that one. Hey! Look! <laughs> it's a sea turtle! Hi! Oh. This is Taiko! Taiko, you wanna dance? And did you see that stingray? Wow, there's so many tropical fish in here. Oh, like that little guy. Okay, let's go down here. Whoa, there's hundreds of them. Look at the angelfish. No, this is the tail. Ooh, this is the black and yellow fish. Hello. Wow. Keep, keep coming. See the Oh, what's in here? Whoa. Look, they kind of look like rocks. You see those? But they're actually alive. Okay. Oh, what do you do right here? Ooh, I think it's time for a picture. Okay, thank you. Come on. It's like a tunnel right here. Look at this side. A stingray. Whoa. Wow. I wonder how thick this is. I bet it's like that thick so it doesn't break. Ooh, there's fish up there. Ooh, stingray, look, hurry, quick. Did you see its tail? They have really long tails. Ooh, let's go on this side. There's a big shark. I have a better place to see all these fish at. Hurry, let's go quick. This is a really big aquarium. Ooh, it's coming close. Look at that one. After seeing all different types of sea creatures under the aquarium, I got to go on top of the aquarium and do something really special. Whoa! Look at this place! We are on top of the coral reef at the Florida Aquarium. This is a little behind the scenes for you. I've never been on top of an aquarium before. Oh, look at who it is. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Eric, and you're Blippi. Yeah, wow. I'm Blippi. Can't so, believe you're visiting. Yeah, what do you do here? Uh, I'm a curator here at the Florida Aquarium. Okay. We're right on top of the coral reef, and curators take care of animals, and we can care, and it means everything from round-the-clock health care to, guess what? 
What? Feeding time! Ooh, yeah. I love food! I love food too, it's lunch time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is? It is, it's lunch for the sharks, it's lunch for our big turtle flick you're gonna meet, for all of the thousands of fish that are in our environment here called the Florida Coral Reef. Woohoo! All right, I think it's time, let's go! Flippy, we're heading over to the feed station right now, and let me introduce you to Alyssa. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how about you? Good. So we are about to be feeding the deep side of our reef tank. Okay. We got a lot of different fish here, but we have a lot of different fish in the reef that like to eat. So right there. Take a good sniff. That's some fresh Ooh. fish there. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> nice big mackerel. Ooh. So yeah. what we'll have you do is put on some gloves. Oh, I should have done that first. <laughs> it's super simple. Take a big scoop of fish. Okay. And you're just gonna throw it out into the reef. And you'll oh. see a bunch of fish swim out. All in the form. in here exactly? What? So right there we have some squid, uh -huh. we have some herring, we have clam and night smelt. Oh, the whole mix. Can I sneak sizes. a little for myself? Yeah, lunch is not going to come fast. <laughs> Alright, where to? Over this way. Yep. All right field. That's a sports turn. Yeah. That looks tasty. All that right. looks like some good squid and mackerel there. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, Bolivia, you're doing a great job. Now let's go down below and see what it looks like to be a fish underwater watching all that food come down. Okay, Ready? let's go. Let's go. Alyssa, take us from here. After feeding all of the sea creatures from above the aquarium, Eric took me back down below so we could watch all of the sea creatures eat all of the food I just fed them. It was so spectacular. And then I went on over to the wetlands exhibit. Whoa! Look! A duck! It's so cute! Do you see it? Quack, 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 quack. Can you make the sound of a duck? Quack, quack, quack! This area is where they have the otters. Look! Whoa! Look at him do backflips! This place is so beautiful! Whoa! Whoa! A python! A python. Whoa, look how big it is! Jeez, oh, that's scary. Come on! Ooh, some cute birds over here. These are spoonbills. And they're white and pink. Look, he's looking for food. Fish are so big. Whoa, get really close. Can you see it? <sighs> Such a big fish. And here's some more fish. Go up really close to the glass. Let's see what else they have here. I had such a great time at the Florida Aquarium. Next time you're in Tampa, Florida, you can go check out some sea life. We are at 
Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are gonna see some awesome animals. Let's go! Got my member's card. All right, okay, come on. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, here we go. Hey, this is Cindy, and what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. Oh, Boris is so pretty. Is? Yeah, that's a tiger. Meow. That's a really big kitty cat. <laughs> that's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. So this is Sarah. Hi. And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point of Science Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So what are we gonna? Have, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay. So, so. this is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up, Hold right it. up to his little nose. Okay, here I go. And he's gonna slurp that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa. Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long. Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt. He would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants' nests 
and termite mounds, and then he would use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah. So Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life, and when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Yeah. Meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. OK. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. OK. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. OK. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. this place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, okay, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay. Where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. <laughs> And then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right. Let's do this one right here, actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. <laughs> it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Okay, is that all? No, Blippi, let's oh, take okay. the fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum. Look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what? Let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay. It's kind of like a search and find because <laughs> we'll put some right here and then we'll hide some for them to find it okay so spread out the wiffle balls and let's sprinkle some on top of the wiffle balls Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun <laughs> okay 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 there's a little bit more let's put some right on this ledge Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let them out. Okay. is a dromedary camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> dromedary camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo. They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. In this place, has amazing sea creatures, and we can actually touch them. See? You can touch, but with only one finger, okay? Oh, look at these right here. 
Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello. Hi, little guy. And hey, little girl. Hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Woo! Did you see it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. <gasps> okay, ready? Woo! Whee! Oh, it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. <gasps> oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! They're really hard. It's so cool. And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slow. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs> Carousel, come on! Hey, horsey! This is gonna be so much fun! See? It's a carousel! And right here, this is the instrument panel that turns on the carousel. And I got the key! <laughs> okay, let's put in the key right there. <laughs> and... Animals. Yeah, a horse, a poison dart frog, some more horses, oh, a polar bear, we saw one of those today, a zebra, did you see the zebra? Oh, a pig, oink, oink. <laughs> ooh, tiger, ooh, an anteater, okay. Now I think it's time for us to ride the carousel. Come on! But first we need to pick our favorite animal. We gotta wait for it to stop. Come this way. Wait! The zebra? Hmm, I don't know if I wanna ride the zebra. Let's see what else. A horse. Polar bear. Hey, so much fun. Okay. This animal, yeah, is a poison dart frog. And I am going to ride this animal. Gotta buckle up first. And once I'm all buckled up, oh, gotta loosen that up a little bit. Oh. All right, I am ready to ride. Here we go. See, we spin around and around as well as go up and down. Whoa. Hey, horsey. Whoa. Look, this poison dart frog is the color yellow. in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is gonna be awesome. I think today you and I should learn about some animals. Whoa, look at this place. Oh, those are kind of like raindrops. Hello. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa, we're almost to the top! Whoa! Yeah, let's go! This is 
going to be so much fun! Oh, did you see that? I just used two fingers on the back of the head in the back of this Russian sturgeon. Oh, it looks like you liked it. Whoa, it feels so cool. It's hard, but it also has kind of a layer of a slippery sludge on it. <laughs> it helps keep all the parasites away. Oh, here's another one. That is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? I just touched the stingray nice and gently with my two fingers on its back. Whoa, okay, let's, uh, let's touch another one. Oh, here's one right over here. Oh, oh hey! Whoa, <laughs> that's silly! Ooh, come over here. Whoa. There's so many of them. Whoa. Look at that one. It's just resting on the ground. That's a different kind. Huh. Oh, here comes one. Whoa. Hey, I'll describe what it feels like. It kind of feels... Oh, here's one more. Whoa! Yeah, I really know what it feels like now. It feels like a wet gummy bear. <laughs> oh, so slippery and soft at the same time, but firm as well. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Blippi, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here looking at my favorite fish, the paddlefish. Ooh, paddlefish? That's pretty cool. It is. Well, see you later. Oh, see you later, Blippi. Whoa, this is pretty cool being behind the scenes of the aquarium. Hello. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> hey. So many cool workers here. Whoa, look at this. We're on top of an aquarium! Whoa, look at all that water and those fish down there! Whoa, okay, follow me. Whoa, look at this room! Whoa, there's so much scuba gear in here, tanks, wetsuits. Whoa, okay, we need to take this fish to the sharks. I bet they're really hungry. Come on! Whoa! Wow. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Whoever drew that is a good artist. It shows the different parts of a shark. Yeah, like the gills. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look. All right, we did it. Here you go. Hi, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. What's your name? My name's Danny. Oh, this is Danny, and what are you doing here? So we're here at actually feeding our big sharks right now. Whoa, look, I see a fish down there, look. Whoa, so what, why is she holding the fish on a pole? So that's how we get the food down to our sharks. If they're all pretty low in the water column, she needs to be able to have a really long tool to get the food down to their mouth. Okay, so they hold the pole, which has a fish on the end, and then the sharks come up and have some supper. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like fun. Whoa. Those fish look big. How big is that fish that she's feeding the sharks? It's about this big. It's called a blue fish because that has a kind of blue tint to it. Okay. That's a blue fish. That's about this big. So what kind of fish did I bring up? So you brought up some hairy big fish in here, okay. and then some piglet, which is the little fish in here. Okay, huh, interesting. Oh, hey, well, this is pretty cool seeing someone else do it, but hey, can I feed some sharks? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Just make sure you have your gloves on, because the fish can be kind of 
kind of stinky. <laughs> okay, alright. Let's put the gloves on so then my hands don't smell like fish for weeks. <laughs> okay, alright, I got my gloves on. Uh, oh, there we go. One glove, two gloves. Alright, and now what do I do? So, take this fish bucket that you brought up from our kitchen and we'll head over here. Okay, alright. We'll head over to our feeding platform. Okay. And as soon as we walk up, the fish will be all ready for us. Okay. Whoa! Look! I'm on the platform. Whoa, look! There's no barriers between me and the fish. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. All right, here we go. Can I throw one at a time? Yeah, whatever you want. Either one at a time or all of it at once. All right. Enjoy this. Whoa, look at them go. They're really enjoying this food. Whoa, look at all of them. They're swarming to the top. Because they know that I'm throwing all this yummy food to them. Is that tasty fish or is that tasty? <laughs> okay, just a little left. Here we go. Whoa, that was so much fun. <laughs> Good job. Whoa. Ooh, she's feeding a turtle. Come on. Whoa, so many cool things up here. Whoa. Okay, let's go over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, what are you doing? I am feeding Greta, our green sea turtle. Ooh, she's feeding Greta? That's a nice name. And this is Greta. Do you see Greta? Hey, Greta. Hey. Ooh, what does Greta like to eat? Greta loves lettuce. Also enjoys cucumbers, bell peppers, and even sometimes carrots. Ooh, lettuce, bell peppers, cucumbers, and carrots? Sounds like Greta's really healthy. <laughs> Can I try feeding Greta? Yeah. Okay. All right. How do I do it? Just a little bit? Yeah, you can a little bit. The whole leaf, you just pop it in front of her. There you go, Greta. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? What can I do? Should I throw another one? Sure, there we go. Sometimes you get them from here. Okay. Alright. Greta's hungry. Here you go, Greta. Yum! Here you go. Oh, Greta's really big. Do you know how much Greta weighs? She is a little bit over 100 pounds. Oh, wow. A hundred pounds. Wow. Oh, here you go. <laughs> okay, let's do a big piece. Let's watch Greta eat a whole piece. Here you go. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. That's a big piece of lettuce. some animals. I think we should use this restroom and wash our hands. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Whoa, look. Whoa, look. This restroom is underwater. And this restroom actually won the best restroom in America. Whoa, you can wash your hands right here. And look at shark. Sharks and fish. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I washed my hands. Now I'll go dry them. 
you enjoy the view. Okay, let's go down the escalator to the deep ocean. <laughs> Come on. Like we're underwater. Look this way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I present to you the deep ocean exhibit. Hello! Hey! So this is a sea lion. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, it's so big! <laughs> so cool! Oh, look, look, look! Whoa, hello! <laughs> Whoa! And there's actually a seal in here as well. Let's go try and find it. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Hello. See that right here? This is a seal. Hi. So there's three sea lions in here and one seal. And the easiest way to tell the difference is this. I'll show you. So if you're a sea lion, you use your front flippers to basically walk like this. <laughs> but seals don't do that. Seals, oh, hello. Oh, you're curious, huh? <laughs> so curious. Whoa. So that's a sea lion. Mm -hmm. So it walks with its flippers. Hello, 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 hello. They're actually really smart animals. See how it's following me? I'll try and change directions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and seals, they don't walk like that. You know, this is a sea lion. Sea lion. And a seal, they don't have that much power right here. And it's kind of short and stubby. So this is what they do. Just kind of waddle. Oh, 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 that's silly. Wow, what magnificent creatures. Check them out a little bit more. Whoa, penguins? Yeah, we're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're going to meet some penguins. Come on. Let's walk nice and slow, and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh, hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, okay, what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, no. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. Shadow, huh? That does happen. So penguins really 
light, contrasting colors. They also can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes, just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And, just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh, interesting. This is pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. Okay. And we have 32 of them here at the aquarium. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. They're actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> hey, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is gonna bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> hey, so I'm gonna touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. So soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the gam punch? Yes, you can. Yeah. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> oh, hello! This is a little blue penguin. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small. Whoa! And this board has the sizes of different penguins. Oh. Like the penguin I met today, an African penguin. Whoa, and they just keep getting bigger. Whoa, whoa, look how big they're getting. Whoa, look at how big this penguin is. Whoa, four feet tall, 1.3 meters high? Jeez, look how big it is. Oh, whoa, that's a really big penguin. Can. <laughs> Do you see its beak? <laughs> kind of looks like the shape of a banana. A really colorful banana. <laughs> There's another bird over here. Come on. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> a colorful parrot. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Whoa. Looks like it's yellow, blue, and on its head, it's green! <laughs> hey! Hey, there's another animal right over here I want to show you. Come on! Whoa, look! Look at this animal! It's moving really slow! <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a sloth. Let's act like a sloth together. Hello! How are you? Ah! 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 <laughs> That's funny. All right, hello! These are otters, and they're so cute. Look at them go underwater. Whoa. I bet they can hold their breath for a really long time. 
Whoa, they're so fast. <laughs> they kind of look like water cats, <laughs> but they're not kitty cats. <laughs> Whoa, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, another one. Whoa. <laughs> Cool! Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all these creatures at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, good job. All right, see you soon. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, and do you see what's behind me? Yeah, a bunch of logs. Whoa. Today, I'm at the Port of Olympia in Olympia, Washington. And these logs are chopped down, exported to different countries, so then they can build houses. <laughs> But Washington State is really cool because for every one tree that gets chopped down, the companies here have to plant at least three new trees. <laughs> so I think we should explore the port. But first, I need some safety equipment. <laughs> I love being safe. All right, let's go explore the port. <laughs> Do you see that? That is a crane, and it's so big. I love cranes because they can grab things from the ground and lift them really high up in the air. Yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore this crane. Whoa, check it out. These are the crane's wheels and tires. Yeah, the tires are black and the wheels are the color blue. <laughs> Did you also notice how they're two wide? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we count all of these wheels and tires? All right, I'll start over here. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and tires. But wait a second. Remember how I said they're two wide? Okay, so we have eight times two. Eight times two. That's 16. <laughs> Good job. But wait a second. We're only on one side. So it has a whole other set on the other side. So here we go. 16 times two. <gasps> That's really hard. Let's see, 16 times two. <gasps> 32 wheels and tires! Whoa! Good job! Whoa, do you see that? There's actually a worker right here. Let's go talk to him. Hello. Hey, hey Blippi. Hey, who are you? I'm Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Uh, I maintain equipment on the marine terminal and today we're looking at the Gotwald Mobile Harbor Crane. Whoa, a crane? That's so cool. Can we go up? Heck yes, All let's right. go. Let's go, come on. I'm gonna sit down in the chair. <laughs> this is where the operator sits. Whoa! Look at how high we are! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is so cool! 
So we're about 90 feet in the air, roughly. That's about 30 yards, four meters. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see that those hooks right there? They're used to grab things. This can grab anything from logs to boats to pallets to, yeah, so many things. Come check this out. Whoa! Look at those big cables! This is the hoist room. Whoa! They're so big! Look! Ooh! And this room is the electrical room. Whoa! Look at all these! Whoa! Hey, look! There's another worker! <laughs> Looks like he's just working. Hey! <laughs> cool. All right, let's get out of this place. Whoa, now we're going into the engine room. Whoa, look at how big this engine is. <laughs> Frank, how big is this engine? It's so big, it's got 12 cylinders and it's a twin turbo Cummins diesel. Whoa, that is a big, powerful engine. See how big that is? Wow! That's what they use to pick up really heavy things. Whoa! <laughs> All right! <laughs> It's a massive ship. Yeah, this vessel is the vessel that they load all these logs onto. And then it goes out into the ocean and transports and delivers the logs. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what does this sign say? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's you and I, let's go. Whoa. Those are some big logs, and there's so many of them. I think you and I should count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ten thousand four hundred and forty-four, ten thousand four hundred and forty-five, ten thousand four hundred and forty-six, ten thousand. Oh no! I lost track. <laughs> Okay, well, anywho, I think we should let all the log stackers get back to work. So we should probably get out of here and then they'll stack some more logs on the ship. <laughs> all right, see ya. Whoa, this is a small boat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a medium sized boat. Whoa, this is a Big boat! <laughs> and what it also has is this travel lift. This travel lift goes right over the water, drops these belts down to the water, and then it can lift up a boat. Or it could do the opposite, where it can hoist a boat, one of those park boats over there, over the water and then drop it down. But hey, check these out. These are some massive belts. They are so strong. Actually, this thing can lift up about the weight of seven school buses. <laughs> that is so much weight. Okay, let's uh, get out of their way so then they can lift up a boat. This is gonna be cool. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, 
of those belts are lowering down to the water. And then they're gonna submerge themselves in the water, and that's when the boat is gonna go on top of the belts. And then the belts will lift the boat and then transport it to the land. Do you see what they're doing? They're using these poles to pull in the boat nice and slow so then it doesn't ram up against the dock. Yeah, because this might not be their boat, so they have to be very nice and delicate with it. Just like when you're borrowing someone else's toy, you want to make sure that you treat that toy with a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. Did you see how they just lifted the boat? Yeah, now it's off of the water. Now the tires are gonna roll on the concrete and then bring it back to land. Now it's time to scrape. Whoa! Check this out. Looks like a lot of barnacles and even some seaweed growth. Whoa! That looks yummy, but not for me. Whoa! All right, nice and clean. Yeah! Well, I should probably get going now because there's a lot more boats to explore. Yeah, check it out! There's so many! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! All right, see you again. Bye-bye! It's me, Whippy, and today we're here at Easter Seals, Southern California. We get to visit one of their therapy centers. <laughs> I am so excited! Come on! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> this room is awesome! Look! <laughs> Looks like there's so many fun things to play on. <laughs> this is a basketball hoop. Whoa, check it out! There's the hoop. <laughs> The backboard. <laughs> and the net. Ooh. And we want to try to get this ball in the net. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh, we missed. <laughs> Ooh. But that's okay. If you try something the first time and you miss, that's okay. You do it again, and again, and again. <laughs> That's called practice. And if you do lots of practice, then you're sure to get better. And I want to get better at basketball. Woohoo! Uh-oh, we missed again. But I have a really good idea. Slam dunk! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if there's anybody else around here that I could play with. Hmm. hmm. You know, a good way to make friends is to introduce yourself. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> and then just ask them to play. Would you like to play with me? <laughs> See, it's that easy. And now you and I are best friends. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Check out this slide. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, do you hear that? Huh? What's that noise? Oh! <laughs> hey, check it out! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Whoa, hello there. <laughs> wow, do you see it? 
It's a real life robot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, my name is Hans. Whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> Hi, Hans. It's so nice to meet you. Ooh. Hey, maybe we can ask Hans a question. <laughs> Hans, would you like to be our friend? <laughs> hey, did you see that? Hans did a little dance. <laughs> that means he's happy. And it must mean yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Hans, now that we're friends, what should we do together? Over there, please. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah. Hans put out his hand and he motioned for us to go with him. Hmm. <laughs> I bet Hans has somewhere fun to take us. <laughs> was pointing at the table. <laughs> it looks like there are some healthy snacks over there. <laughs> Hans, did you set those out for me to eat? Yes, Blippi. Ah, <laughs> that is so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, can you hear that? I said thank you. Do you use words like please and thank you too? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's really important when someone does something for you to say thank you because you appreciate it <laughs> and you appreciate them. Ah, thank you, Hans, that was so nice. <laughs> Hans, would you like to go sit over at the table? Yes. <laughs> Where would you like to sit? Over there, please. Ah, okay, <laughs> here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Hans said the words, please. <laughs> when I asked him to come over to the table, and he also said, thank you, <laughs> because he appreciated what I did. <laughs> Aw, you are so nice. <laughs> and this food looks so tasty. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Yellow bananas. <laughs> oh, tomatoes and broccoli. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> but first, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We need to wash our hands. Okay, I'll be right back, Hans. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to make sure your hands are squeaky clean. <laughs> but Hans, he doesn't need to wash his hands. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, check it out. <laughs> this is a sink where we can wash our hands. Ooh, and look, it's all the steps to properly wash them. <laughs> Step number one says, water on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, step number two, hands wet. Okay, <laughs> Woo. Woo. Now that my hands are wet, we can go to step number three, rub hands with soap and because we want squeaky clean hands, we want to make sure we rub our hands with soap for longer than 10 seconds. Ooh, okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and whoa, <laughs> 10. <laughs> whoa, and because we don't want soapy hands. <laughs> we want to rinse them off. Okay. Next, we turn off the water. You don't want to waste water. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we dry off our wet hands. <laughs> Now that our hands are clean, we can eat a delicious and healthy snack. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, look at all the amazing snacks here. <laughs> we have yellow bananas. Hmm, I wonder how these taste. Whoa, look, <laughs> it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> Ooh. And 
Hmm, we have some other yummy vegetables here. <laughs> but let's start with the bananas. Okay, time to peel the banana. <laughs> Check it out. Look how cool it is when the banana is peeled. Yeah. <laughs> and it tastes sweet. Mm -hmm. And this banana is soft. Soft and sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the taste of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa. Let's try some tomatoes. Woo. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I wonder what these tomatoes will taste like. Whoa! Those tomatoes have so much flavor! <laughs> They're kind of salty, and they certainly are juicy! Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have a very interesting taste. Whoa, and look! <laughs> they kind of look like little bouncy balls. Boing, 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 boing! Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Whoa! Mm. Mm. <laughs> Those are fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a little tree. It's a little forest of trees. Whoa, hello trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. These aren't trees. They just look like trees. These are broccoli. Hello, broccoli. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that broccoli is so crunchy. Oh, <laughs> and look, some green celery. Hmm, I wonder how this will taste. Whoa, the banana was really soft, but the celery, hmm, it wasn't very soft. It was definitely crunchy. Oh, and kind of tastes a little sweet. Hmm. <laughs> I like that celery. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, and check it out. It's an orange carrot. Mm. <laughs> orange carrots are so cool looking. Do you know why they're so cool looking? Because it's orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. Yum, <laughs> that is so tasty. Yeah. The orange carrot is sweet and crunchy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Hans, these were some really good snacks to pick out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hans, can we play together? <laughs> did you see that? Hans did a little dance. Sounds like he wants to play together. Well, do you know of any place that we can go and play? Check it out! <laughs> he moved his arm in this motion. Yeah, that means he wants us to go with him. Okay, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go play. <laughs> Whoa, this place is amazing! <laughs> Look, there's a slide, a rock climbing wall, and a really cool swing. <laughs> Hans, do you want to ride the swing? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here you go, Hans. Whoa, check out this swing. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Hans and I are riding the swing. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Hi, Hans. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. What's your name? My name is Michelle. I'm a speech therapist here at Easter Seals. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. And you said you're a speech therapist? Oh, well, what does a speech therapist do? We help kids learn to talk, play, and just learn new things. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Well, I love playing and learning new things. <laughs> and so does Hans. We've been having so much fun playing together today. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. In this room, we help kids learn to move in new ways. We play games and practice things like taking turns. Whoa, games are so fun. Hey, maybe we should all play a game together. But 
What game should we play? Hide and seek. Whoa, great idea, Hans. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. But we need to remember to take turns. So who should go first? Hans would like to go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hans will go first and count to 10. Michelle and I are gonna hide. <laughs> okay, we're ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hans, you count to 10 and Michelle and I are gonna go hide. <laughs> See if you can find us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. Hans, you found me. Hooray. I know you're around here somewhere, Blippi. I see you, Blippi. Oh, Hans, you found me! <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Now, I'll count to 10 and you and Michelle hide. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> hmm. I found you! <laughs> you found me. Good job. <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Whoa! That game of hide and seek was so fun! It was! <laughs> oh, well, thanks for playing with us, Hans. Thanks for playing with us, Michelle. <laughs> yes, it was so nice to meet you today, Blippi. Bye. Uh, bye! Bye! Bye, Hans! <laughs> bye bye. It was nice to meet you! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> oh, and Hans, do we have time for another activity? What is it? Hans likes to shake his tail. Whoa, me too! Let's have a dance party! <laughs> Let's go! Hans loves the blippy dance. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs>
some awesome dancing, Hans. I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Blippi. Aw, thank you for being my friend, Hans. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Blippi. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> and we got to make some new friends. Hans the Robot <laughs> and Michelle. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>, and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. Yeah, it's a really cool children's museum of exploration and innovation. So today you and I are gonna learn a lot about science. Yeah, maybe some stuff like hearing. Yeah, sound, whoa, and speed. Whoa, slow, fast. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun, come on. <laughs> What are you doing? Come on! Come here! <laughs> Come on! Hello! Whoa, check it out! This is a massive guitar! Whoa! Cool! Yeah! Have you ever seen someone play a guitar before? Yeah! Yeah! Guitars are so cool! Ooh, and when you strum the strings, it makes a noise. Hey, let's listen! All right. Here we go. Tighten this up. <laughs> Little out of tune, but it still sounds really cool. All right, now let me move this up. Yeah. And when I move it up, it'll tighten the strings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Which effectively makes it tighter and shorter. And now, listen to how it sounds. Whoa, higher pitched. Oh, cool, let's keep exploring. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, another guitar right here with more strings. Pretty low, but watch this. I'll put my foot right here to tighten it out. Now listen. Whoa, that sounds a lot better. And watch this. Whoa, I spin this drum and check out the strings. You can actually see the wavelengths. Basically. Did you see that? Check it out a little closer. Whoa, <laughs> cool. Who are you? Hi, I'm Simon. Oh, nice to meet you, Simon. I'm Blippi. What are you doing here? Well, this is our sound machine. Sound machine doesn't look like a sound machine. It looks like a table. Well, I got these special little squares with some shapes on them that make some sound for you. Whoa, that sounds like a guitar. I just played the guitar over there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, every single shape has a different instrument. And now Simon and I just made a really cool song. All right, let's see. Whoa, I think we should have a dance party. Are you up for it? Sure. Come on, let's go. is the innovation workshop. Innovation means when you take something old and you make it new or you make it way better. This is gonna be so much fun. I wonder what we're gonna make. Let's go. Cool, the innovation workshop. Wow, look at this place. This is fun. Whoa, it looks like a car. Whoa, cool. Oh, look right here. Looks like some compact Discs, CDs, yeah. Back in the old days, people used to use these to play music and movies. <laughs> All right. Ooh, some bubble wrap. Listen to this. 
<laughs> Whoa, what else do we have here? Ooh, rubber bands. I like rubber bands. <laughs> Hope we get to make a craft with some rubber bands. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, there's someone right over there. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin. Oh, nice to meet you, Kevin. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Well, I build stuff in the innovation workshop. Oh, how cool. Well, I'm very excited. What are we gonna build today? Today, we're building a rubber band powered car. Whoa, cool. Can I check it out? Definitely. Whoa, a rubber band powered car. Yeah, rubber bands in a car. So this gets propelled by the power of a rubber band? Exactly. Whoa, cool, how do you do it? So, uh, do you wanna see it go first? Oh yeah, yeah let's, <laughs> let's do, do that. All right, so first you pull the rubber band back. Okay. And then I'm gonna twist the wheel three times, ready? Yep, one, one two, two three. three. And then we let it go. Whoa, that was really cool. Pretty cool, right? All right, I am very excited, let's do this. First step is to build the body of our cars. Okay. We're gonna make a little triangle out of these wooden sticks. Okay. By putting a brass brad through the hole. Okay, there we go, make a triangle. Look at that, looks like a triangle. Perfect, and then <laughs> we have a body of our car like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we've gotta make something to hold our wheels. The wheels are held by an axle. Oh yeah, just like normal cars and trucks on the road, they have piece of metal that goes from one wheel to the other to hold them to the body of the car. Exactly, cool. so we're gonna use a straw to hold our axle to the body of our car. Oh, cool. So we've got some straws and then a wooden stick. Okay. And we're gonna use hot glue to attach it now. Oh, okay, all right. So before we use hot glue, we gotta put on our heat resistant gloves so we don't hurt our fingers. Okay, wow. Safety first. <laughs> hot glue is definitely something that only grown-ups should use because this is very, very hot. And that's why we're wearing this, these gloves. Yeah, even grown-ups have to be careful. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we're gonna put our wheels on the back here. Okay. So let's put the big wheels on the back so it goes really fast. Oh, yeah. Stick it through the hole there. Okay, so you put a piece of wood between these? Right. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Nice. <laughs> All right. Here. Here's one wheel and tire. There we go. And then, oh, yours looks really good. Looks like half a car. Yeah, it does. Whoa, cool. Wow. And same thing. <laughs> All right. The front, we're gonna put the axle through. Okay. Get through. And for the front, we've got little wheels to put on. Okay. That makes sense. Big wheels in the back for more traction, and then little wheels in the front for great steering. <laughs> Whoa, now it definitely looks like a car. Look at this. <laughs> so we're just missing the last piece, which is our rubber band to make it go. Oh, all right. So to wrap the rubber band around, we need a little piece of wood on our back axle. All right. That looks good. Now, are we ready? We're ready to add our rubber band. All right. This has to dry for a little bit, so when we wait for that to dry, we'll add our rubber bands. All right, let's wait for it to dry. <laughs> All right, I think it's about dry, right? Yep, mine's dry. Perfect, all right. Well, how do we do the rubber band? Let's add our rubber band. We're gonna attach it to the front of our car. Okay. By putting it around that brass brad, the shiny thing. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Is yours attached like that? Yep, it Great. is. And now we do that last step where we wrap it around the back. Okay, and I do remember three rotations. That's right. Are ready? One, One. Oh. <laughs> two, three. All right, mine is ready. Are you ready to race? I'm ready to race. All right. Oh. Almost. <laughs> ready? And on your marks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get set, go. go. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow. Well, sometimes we have to embrace our failure. Exactly. It didn't work today. <laughs> yeah, so maybe if we sit here for a while and then we figure out what went wrong, then we can improve on it. And then they will go super fast like this one. Let's try that one again. Let's that try one it again. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this one. 
Wow, this is still a rubber band powered car? That's still a rubber band powered car. It works the same way. All right, I'll try this one. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, you this won. worked? Good job. <laughs> nice well, race. thank you so much for teaching us how to make a rubber band powered car. <laughs> Thanks for building with me. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring. Okay. So, see you later. Have fun. Bye-bye. Did you see this car? Wow, it looks so fast. Yeah, it has wheels and tires. Ooh, and it has a green front, a blue middle. Yeah, and then a yellow back. Whoa, look in here. Looks like a lot of parts of cars. Hey, why don't we make a car? Whoa, all right. Looks like we have a lot of parts to choose from. All right. Let's see. Ooh, we have some black wheels and tires. Ooh, and some green wheels and tires. Okay, so let's pick a body. Whoa, look, we have some long bodies. We have some short bodies. Ooh, I think, yeah, right here. Yeah, and that one had a short body. So let's pick a long body. And look, my two favorite colors. I wish I could just use both. But I need to pick one. Let's pick orange. Okay, and then we need a front and a back. Let's see here. Why don't I use a blue front? Yeah! Oh, and we can use a blue back. There we go. Doesn't that look good? Yeah! All right, now we need to pick our wheels and tires. We have the green big ones and the black small ones. So now we have two black wheels and tires and two green wheels and tires. All right, let's compare these two. All right, so the one we made is definitely longer. It also has green wheels and tires while this one doesn't. Hmm, hey, look, looks like there's a scale. All right, we can weigh them and see what one's heavier. All right, this one says, one pound, three ounces. All right, let's see what this one says. One pound, five ounces. So that means this one is heavier. Wow, I wish there's a place where we could race them at. <gasps> Whoa, look! Wow, a racetrack. Whoa, then look at these. You can raise and lower the track. Come check it out. Wow, see this? Wow, that looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can race them and see which one's faster. Okay, here you go. On your marks. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Whoa, they're going to the top. So then gravity will pull them down. I wonder who's gonna win. <gasps> there they go, three, two, one, go! <gasps> we did such a great job building the faster car. Yeah, faster, slower, that's speed. Whoa, cool, yeah. Whoa, now we're on the roof of the museum. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a lot of black pipes. Oh, nothing inside. Hey, what are these doing here? Looks like the bottom of some shoes. Whoa, we have orange, we have green, we have blue, and we have purple. Hey, I have an idea. Huh, not really doing anything. Did you hear that? Yeah, look down here. Whoa, kind of sounds like musical instruments. these sandal or parts of a shoe on this pipe, it then pushes air out here. And dependent on the height of the tubes, it makes different sounds. All right, let's hear it again. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah! Hey, I have a great idea. Let's hit that bass line and let's make some music with these tubes. Woo! learning about sounds with you. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah! And I sure do love dancing. Woo! Yeah! You got some pretty great dance skills yourself. Oh, and you can't forget about the cars. Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place! This place is awesome! Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah! I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go! Whoa! <laughs> one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? Whoa, look! This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! Right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you going to show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take Ooh. it off for you. And what am I going to do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try take it. Out. <gasps> I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay. That's good. Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Ooh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is gonna feel like. Whoa, it looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? 
That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy, maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? Yeah, it's so tasty. Look at what it is. This is the spot where you can do the bee dance. Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. Then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way, flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, 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 and go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grasshoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa! Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh. And an axolotl. Check this out. Whoa. See that? That's an axolotl. Whoa. So interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there they can regrow it back. Whoa. <laughs> Check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know but this is a turtle wow hey how are you turtle are you having a good day are you having fun yeah <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun <laughs> see you later Whoa. it's kind of dark in here but that's okay this is a green iguana can you see it Whoa, it's just relaxing, having a good time. <laughs> All right, see you, Iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. 
Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> hey. See, it kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool. Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a triceratops. Do you know why they call it a triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, see you later, Triceratops. Oh. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. <laughs> see, these plants, that means it eats plants. And plants only. It doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Check this out. Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine. It's even way bigger than two of my feet. <laughs> Whoa, another dino. Check it out. This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa! This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa! I'm gonna act like this dinosaur, okay? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Woo, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right. Come on, come here. You gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few quick things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm gonna do the same, but it's gonna grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. Whoa, what's this? Ooh, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this 
like little water gun. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, watch. I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it! Whoa! Okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. It's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here. Pretty fun! Whoa! Look at this area! You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube! <laughs> Alright, let's see what else there is. Whoa! Look at this! Alright, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah! See? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Whee. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Okay, look in there, let's go. Ooh. Welcome, come on in. Hey, look, it's a little tree house. Here I go. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts and rights. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Ah. <laughs> oh, these are so much fun. Oh, the noise room. Come on. Whoa! This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. <laughs> Woo! Look, some shiny bowls. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see, right over here. All right, Timbo! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, so 
since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay. Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome, perfect. Oh, hey, look, here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey, here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. Look at this one. What color is that? Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. Do you like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah! Check this out. This is a big number. 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Oh, hey, I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. We're almost done. Look. Yeah, this is our moon. We live on planet Earth, and we have one moon, and we call it Moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. Oh, and the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. Look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity. And they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Look! I just made all those things light up! Whoa! This is fun! Whoa! It's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa! Hey, Mom! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> just kidding. It was just a mirror. Come over here. I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh! Look at this! Whoa! <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. 
on. <laughs> This is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Yeah, I did it! Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to to lift up this weight compared to hold down right here. See, watch. Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. Now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello, this is interesting. See, I'm upside down. But in real life, I'm right side up. Hello, hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there. Ready? Boom! Yeah, that was awesome! Ah, yum! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Awesome. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space shuttles, space rockets, and have so much fun. Will you come with me? Well, let's go. Hey, check it out, a rocket garden. Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on. rocket right here. Can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. 
that's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, down in space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring, come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look, come on. into space, and we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space, and it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there, and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares, it kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. There's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> That would be really hard to do. Wow. Hey, do you want to get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Wow. I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh. Whoa. Okay, look at me. I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place. Check the cabin, enable, pencil, one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here! Oh, boop, boop, 
a long time to learn what all of these buttons and controls and knobs mean. I wonder how long it takes an astronaut to learn what every little button is for. Whoa! Huh. Kind of looks like something you would use on a video game. And there's a whole other side? Look at these screens! There's lots of numbers on these screens. Look, oil, fuel, what happens if the space shuttle runs out of gas? Are there space gas stations? <laughs> Whoa! There's more stars over there! Wow! Oh, I think we're coming in for a landing! Everyone hold on tight! Ooh. We're here. We landed nice and safe. Thank you, Pilot Mika. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> hey! Up here! <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, blast off! Woo! <laughs> that was really fast and really fun! Whoa! Hey! Now we're at the bottom of the Space Shuttle Atlantis! This is really neat! We were able to see the top, but now we're at the bottom. Whoa, look at the wing. It's really, really big. Have you ever made a paper airplane? You know how when you make a paper airplane, you can make it to go really fast or really slow or really high or really low, depending on how you fold the paper and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See? Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the Space Shuttle go into space. And there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One. Two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See? The picture right here? There's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun. Come on. Whoa, look how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. <laughs> but this one is massive and it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Today, learning about 
space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hello. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Santa Barbara Marina in Santa Barbara, California. And this marina has a lot of boats. Yeah, do you like boats? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how they float on the water and they go from one place to the next. And you can see things along the way. Cool, shall we find a boat that we can explore? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, cool, look at this boat. Wow, it's the color yellow. Whoa, can you think of anything that's the color yellow? Oh yeah, like the sun or a sunflower. Cool, hey, what about any fruit that's the color yellow? Yeah, a banana, good job. <laughs> oh hey. Here's some black letters. This must be the name of this boat. Lil Toot. Lil Toot? Whoa, that's a fun name. Toot Toot. Whoa, cool. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Captain Fred. Oh, Captain Fred, I'm Blippi. Wait, Captain, are you the captain of this boat? I am the captain. Whoa, that is really cool. What does this boat do? We take people back and forth across the harbor all day long. Wow, so this boat takes people back and forth, back and forth. So it's like a passenger boat, just like how there's passenger buses. But this is a boat, cool. Do you mind if we hop on board? Welcome aboard, just watch your head. All right, come on. <laughs> wow, check out this boat. Wow, it's so big and roomy in here. Yeah, I bet they can fit a lot of passengers on this boat. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Whoa, <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, a little life jacket or a life preserver. Whoa, definitely looks a little small for me. Oh, I can't even get it on, it's so small. Oh, these must be for children. Cool. <laughs> All right, we'll put those back. <laughs> Whee. <laughs> whoa, I wonder what's in here. Whoa, yeah, a lot of life jackets. Whoa, and these are a lot bigger. I bet this would definitely fit me. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> yeah, life jackets help you float when you're going in the water. Yeah, you might have worn one when you go swimming. All right, we'll put that right there. Oh, hey, wait a second. It even says Lil Toot. Cool, all right, there's that. Okay, let's see what else this boat has for us. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Doesn't this look like the boat's floor? Yeah, well actually it's something really cool. Let me show you. All right, I have to move these first. Whoa, and this one. All right, now for the special thing. All right, <laughs> do you know what it's gonna be? All right, lift up this hatch. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is the engine of the boat. Whoa, this looks like an inline four cylinder, 56 horsepower diesel. No way. Whoa, so cool. Ooh, and right here, yeah, that's the oil filter. Yep, definitely the oil filter. Cool. 
All right, we should probably close this so then we can go for a ride. Whoa, see you later, diesel engine. Whoa, all right. <laughs> in here. It's the pilot house which is where you steer the boat. Oh, the pilot house? Whoa, check it out. Speaking of steering the boat, whoa, it looks like the steering wheel. All right, turn it left. Whoa, turn it right. Whoa, cool. What's the left and the right called on a boat? Left side's the port side. Okay. And the starboard side is the right side. Wow, cool. And sometimes I see colors at night on boats on the left and the right the, the side. The red side is the port side. Okay. And the green side is the starboard side. Whoa, cool. Speaking of red, whoa, what do these knobs do? The red one's the throttle, makes the boat go faster or slower. Okay. The black one makes the boat go forward and backwards. Okay, so this one is the throttle. You push it forward, it goes super fast. But then, if you pull it back, it goes a lot slower. Ooh, and this one, if you push it forward, you go forward. And if you push it back and pull it back, you go in reverse. Whoa, cool. Hey, is this a radio? Whoa, hey. Hello, hello, Marina. This is Deckhand Blippy, and I'm here to help Captain Fred. We're gonna take a ride, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> cool. All right, put that back. Woo, and this, yeah. Can I pull it? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the horn or the tutor on this boat. <laughs> cool, what else do you have here? What's this? This tells you how deep the water is, and this is the actual bottom of the water. Oh. And, if, and we're out in the water, you'll actually see fish go by here. Okay, so if there's a fish underneath us between the bottom of the ocean and the boat, then you'll see a dot. Yeah, we'll be able to see fish. Cool, all right. This is so much fun, I'm so excited to go for a ride. Is there any safety things we need to know about? Absolutely. Before we leave, we have to talk about safety. Okay, I'm ready. We are Coast Guard certified to carry 19 passengers. Wow, that's a lot. Children's life preservers are underneath the seats in separate containers. Oh yeah. And the adult seat. life preservers are in the large box in the center. Mm -hmm. Children's life preservers are for people that are under 90 pounds. Okay. And there's also life floats on top of the boat. Oh, cool. Are we ready to take it for a spin? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, all right, here we go. Yeah, this boat is just floating on the water. And you can tell that we're still in the marina. Yeah, because there's a lot of boats. Whoa, boats? Speaking of boats, that one is so massive. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, check it out. Well, United States of America. Yeah. Boats love to fly their flags of the country that they're from. And this boat, yeah, it resides in the USA. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, do you see all those sailboats? Yeah, you can tell they're sailboats because the big mast in the center goes way high and that's what holds the sails. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Sailboats are really cool because they're powered by the wind. They don't even need an engine or a motor or nothing. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day it is out here. It's nice and sunny. Good thing we have the top. I might get sunburned. <laughs> Whoa. Do you see those birds? Wow, there's so many of them. Yeah, those are actually California pelicans. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, hello, hey. Wow, 
their beaks are so massive. All right, see you later, pelicans. Bye-bye. Whoa, what a fun day this has been. Hasn't it been fun? Yeah, I love boats. <laughs> hey, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a life jacket, it's because this is a Coast Guard certified boat. Yeah, and I'm older than the age requirement. <laughs>
<laughs> Here we go. Let's see what we can build. Whoa, look, it has an arm. <laughs> oh, it looks like a crane. <laughs> but we're not building anything with this crane. Nope, we're splashing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's build the biggest fountain ever. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! <laughs> that is one big fountain. <laughs> and it looks like all the boats, they can swim under it. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> it's raining! <laughs> oh, look at this. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. There are so many colorful boats here. We have an orange boat. A blue boat, a pink boat, <laughs> a yellow boat, and whoa, <laughs> a green boat. It's a tower of boats. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, and look at this. <laughs> whoa, look. It's a stream where the boats can go down. Yeah, if you start at the top, you can put some balls, Whoa, look at him go! Bye-bye! <laughs> or maybe a fish! Bye-bye, <laughs> fish! Whoa! <laughs> look at him go! Woo! Or a boat! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! And look at this! There are all these different plates! Yeah, you can take a blue plate and you can put it in different parts to stop up the water so we can make the biggest splash ever. <laughs> We're gonna make the boat go really fast down the ramp. Okay, but first we need to block off all the components using plates. Okay, it's filling up. <laughs> now we can start putting the boats in. Okay, <laughs> whoa, look, it's filling up. Couple more. Okay, I think we're ready <laughs> to release the boats. Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they went so fast. <laughs> oh. Wow. I think it's about time for the grand finale. We've had a lot of fun playing with all these boats, but there's one more surprise. <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! Whoa, look! I'm getting all the balls in my nets! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was one grand finale. Whoa, it looks like there are some animals for us to see. <laughs> oh, hi, Tori. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Flippy. Whoa, and check it out. It's a tortoise and a bunny. <laughs> Whoa, and Tori, who's this? This is Rocky, the gopher tortoise. Ooh. Hello, Rocky. <laughs> Is it okay if I touch her? Absolutely, you can touch her right on the shell there. Mm. And she can actually feel you touching her. Like we can feel things that touch our fingernail. It's kind of like that. Wow, her shell is very hard and so smooth. <laughs> oh, and Rocky's a tortoise, right? That's correct. Oh. So if you look at the claws there, that's how you can tell. Turtles have webbed feet. Tortoises have claws for digging and climbing. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the turtles, they love the water. But tortoises, they walk on the land. <laughs> well, Rocky, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, and how old is Rocky? Rocky's almost 30 years old. 30 years old? <laughs> She's so small, but so old. <laughs> Aw, well, I'll see you soon, Rocky. Oh, and Hannah, who's this? This is Benji the bunny. Oh, hello, Benji. <laughs> Is it okay if I give Benji a pet? Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, 
Benji is so soft. Woo, and so fuzzy. <laughs> and Benji is the color white. And Benji's eyes, they're the color red. Oh, Hannah, why are Benji's eyes red? So his eyes are red because he's an albino bunny. Whoa, an albino bunny? What does albino mean? So that just means he doesn't have the color pigmentation in his eyes like we do. So instead, we're seeing his blood vessels. Aw, hey, wait a minute. We have a bunny and a tortoise. What if we see if they'll race? Absolutely. Let's try. <laughs> OK. On the count of three, we're going to see if the tortoise or the hare will win the race. On your marks, get set. Go! <laughs> go, Rocky, go! Go, Benji! Who is gonna win? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! It looks like Benji won! <laughs> Whoa! Look at these guys! <laughs> I'm here with my good friend, Tori! She's an animal expert, and she knows all about these animals! <laughs> Hi, Tori! Hi, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! Who are these? This is Raven, and this is her baby Puff. Oh, they are both monkey-tailed skinks. Monkey-tailed skinks? Whoa, <laughs> I've never heard of those before. Well, hi, Raven. Hi, Puff. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Would you like to touch Raven on the back? Oh, Check yeah. out those smooth scales. Whoa. Aww. Wow, Raven is so smooth. And look, she looks like a greenish-yellow color. Why are they colored like that? It helps them blend in. Ooh. They like to be very tall up in the trees. They're excellent <laughs> climbers with that monkey tail, these long fingers with the claws. When they're eating leaves and flowers, they don't want any birds to see them. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and did you see this? It's a monkey tail. Oh, that's probably why they're called monkey tail skinks. <laughs> hey, will you act like a monkey with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job being a monkey. <laughs> but these aren't monkeys. They're only called monkey-tailed skinks. Yeah, they look like excellent climbers. Have their big long tail, and it looks like they have really long fingers. Woo! <laughs> Absolutely, that helps them hold on when they're climbing around. They also have very sharp claws. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. You are so cute looking. Oh, and look, there's a hole in the side of her head. What's that for? That's how she hears. Oh, no way. Do you see that? Yeah, that little hole in the side of Raven's head is her ear. <laughs> well, it was so cool to learn all about the monkey-tailed skinks. <laughs> Thanks, Dory. No problem, Blippi. I'll see you soon. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Do you see all these tubes? <laughs> They're so cool because they use air power. <laughs> yeah, air is really important. It has the oxygen that we breathe. <sighs> and it can pull things like a vacuum. <laughs> or push things like a hair dryer. <laughs> That's just awesome. Well, I had such a fun time with you today here at the Orlando Science Center. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs>
<sighs> and the really tall green trees. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Okay. I spy with my Mika eye something big and blue. Oh, something that's big and blue. <laughs> hmm. Do you see something big and blue? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's the sky. That's right. Oh, hello sky. <laughs> okay, my turn. Go. I spy with my flippy eye something red. Hmm, something red. <gasps> hey, is it this flower? <laughs> yeah, look, it's a red flower <laughs> bud. Aw, yeah. Oh, so pretty. Hasn't bloomed yet. No, not till the spring. <laughs> then it will be a beautiful red flower. What a beautiful day! Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't! Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out! Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great! We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And we must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, Give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do, and it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. <laughs> so, Blippi, what other things can we do to protect the Earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw, throw them in. in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to Party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy too. From the elephants on the savanna to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home when it's the home for you. all that singing and dancing, I'm definitely in need of a snack. Oh, look, there's a picnic table over there. Whoa, let's go eat a snack there. Okay. <sighs> this is so nice. <laughs> well, what snack should we eat, Mika? I have some fruit in my jam pack. Whoa, I love eating fruit. <laughs> yeah, I especially love fruit because it's an always food. Yeah, you can always have a healthy snack by eating some fruit. Mm-hmm. Look at this bright red apple. Oh, and I have a bright orange banana. Wait a minute. Orange? 
<laughs> it's a yellow banana. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of silly. my favorite colors. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this definitely is gonna be a tasty snack for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gotta just peel it. Mm -hmm. And then take a bite. Oh, how's your apple? Delicious. <laughs> how's your nana? <laughs> yeah. That is so yummy and sweet. <laughs> I certainly love eating yummy fruits and vegetables. Me too, especially with my best friend. Do you like to eat fruits and vegetables too? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, Mika, mm -hmm. when we're done eating, we're gonna have some leftover food scraps. We should mm -hmm. probably find a place to put them. I don't see any place nearby. Yeah, we don't want to litter and just throw them out in nature. Mm -hmm. We need to find a place to put our banana peel mm -hmm. and our apple core. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can keep going down the trail and we'll find somewhere. Okay. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. 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 Okay, Let's keep going down the trail, <laughs> eating our yummy snacks, and keep on the lookout for a place to put our scraps. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Look at this! Whoa! I wonder what it is. A trash can? Mm, maybe, but it doesn't quite look like one. <gasps> hey! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a triangle! <laughs> two triangles. Oh, yeah, it is. One, two! Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hi, I'm Hillary. I'm an eco educator here at Tree People. Ooh, oh, Hillary. Nice Hillary. What is this triangular thing? Yeah. That's a great question. This is actually two different types of soil. Whoa, yeah, check it out. Look, looks like there's some sandy soil in this one mm -hmm. and some mushy green brown looking soil in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these sides is actually sick soil. Can you guess which side is our sick soil? Uh, mm. this side? Um, you're close. It's actually this side. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you think we need to take that dirt to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this side is our sick city soil because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. Oh, oh. yeah. Look, there are some concrete blocks on the top. That probably is not too good for the soil. No, that actually represents our sidewalks in the city. Oh, and what about this one over here? So this is our healthy soil. That's the type of soil you're gonna see out here at tree people or around on hikes. Yeah, Ooh. look, there's some leaves, mm -hmm. <laughs> hang on some bark, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's definitely green looking. Yeah, oh. looks nice and healthy. <laughs> well, Hillary, we also have some food scraps from our snack we were wondering what we should do with them or where we could put them. That's a great question. You can actually put that in something called a compost oh. bin. What's a compost bin? That's a great question. When you add your fruit and veggie scraps to a compost bin, it breaks down and it adds nutrients to the soil. Ooh. Wait, so putting our banana peels and apple cores in a compost bin, it would make the soil really healthy like that. Yes, exactly. Whoa. We eat it and get healthy, and then we make the soil healthy. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Actually, you guys should follow yeah? me up the hill. I know somebody special who can help you compost your food scraps. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds so fun. Okay, we'll follow you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna go check and see if the dirt doctor is in. Okay, okay. see you soon, Hillary. <laughs> Whoa, hi, Dirt Doctor. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. You look awfully familiar. Well, anywho, it's nice to meet you. Well, why don't you guys follow me? Okay. Whoa. What's all this? These are all the ingredients that we need to make our compost. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it looks like you have an awful lot of cool things here. Oh, and can we add our food scraps to the compost? Yes, you absolutely can. We need half parts greens and half parts brown. Do we have enough? You know, I think we actually need a little bit more of both. Okay. Mm, well, I think we can go find some. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> okay, we'll put our food scraps Thank here you. and be right back. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> well, Mika, what do you want to try to find? Some twigs. Ooh, and maybe I'll find some green leaves. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, and look, there's some green leaves here. <gasps> oh, but we should pick from the ground. Yeah, we don't want to hurt any of the trees or plants nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this. <laughs> yeah, all these green and brown things would be great to add for the compost. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it looks like we got a lot of leaves and twigs and organic things. Ooh, <laughs> some, some berries too. Oh yeah, let's take this back to the dirt doctor. 
Ooh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> We brought it back to it, Doctor. Okay, sounds great. Why don't we start off with our greens? Okay. All right, well, how about on the count of three, we do our food scraps and our green leaves, and uh, let's do a rainbow toss into the bucket. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Rainbow! <laughs> Well, what do we do after we add all the green things? To now compost? we gotta add our browns. So oh. why don't we do a little bit of all of the browns that we have? Okay, well we have an awful lot of leaves. Yeah, can Here you, you pass me some? Yeah, there Thank you go. Thank you. And I'll grab <laughs> some bark and some twigs. <laughs> all right, great. Now on the count of three, I want you guys to do a slam dunk into Ooh. our bucket. Compost basketball. Let's all right, do it. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did it! Well, what do we add now? Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that we can have some moisture in our compost bin. And why don't we mix this up? Can I stir? Of course! <laughs> yeah! Stir, stir, stir! Well, that's stir a good mixer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! And it looks like that water is helping to break it down, right? Exactly. And in two to three months, this is gonna break down into a soil that's our compost. Whoa. And then what do we do? use the soil for? That's a great question. You can put it in your gardens and you can give it to your trees and your plants. Yeah, oh. so they can grow big and strong. Speaking of plants, maybe we could uh, plant something? Yeah. Well, I'd love to plant something. Actually, I have something for both of you. Oh. I have white sage, which is a native plant. Oh, check it out. This white sage is so beautiful and the leaves are kind of fuzzy. <laughs> well, I would certainly love to plant these white sage with my best friend, Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dirt Doctor. It was really nice learning about so many things from you. <laughs> oh, and we'll see you soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Bye, Sal. I mean, dirt doctor. <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to plant our plants. There you go, oh, Mika. I have an idea. Oh. Let's name our plants. Whoa, that's a great idea. Well, Mika, what are you going to name your white sage? Mmm, Buttercup. Buttercup? <laughs> oh, I like that name. Thanks. I'm going to name mine. Charlie! Oh, Charlie and Buttercup. Aww. I hope they're very happy here. Yeah. Well, Mika, these are actually native to California, oh. which means they're from California. <laughs> uh huh. That means they can grow in California even if it's dry and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to grow nice and big and strong. <laughs> Aw, this is so great. Well, I think oh. mine's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yours looks good too. Let's put this flag here so we know that Buttercup and Charlie live here. Yeah, we don't want anyone to step on them, and we want to remember where we put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was so much fun celebrating yes. Earth Day. That was <laughs> awesome meeting the dirt doctor who taught us all about composting. Yeah, and what healthy and not so healthy soil looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> hey, can you spell our names with us? OK, here we go. Ready? <laughs> B L I P P I Flippy. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> M E E K A H. -A -H. Mika. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we'll see you soon. <gasps> Happy Earth Day! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning. It'll make you wanna shout Whippy!